everybody, it's Mark with Atlas Gunworks, and today we're going to talk about holsters. So one of the number one questions we get after people buy a handgun from us is, what holsters can I use? And um, I've got a few options here to show you, and a couple of more that aren't represented, but that we have on the site or are in production right now. So the first uh, series of holsters I'm going to go over is, you know, the the gamer holster, the tactical holster, the, the overt carry holster is probably the best way to put it. And, um, and we've got a few options for you. Now before we dig into this, I just want to say, this is not a comprehensive list. There's a million great holsters out there. These are just ones we have experience with. So if your uh, you know, favorite holster is not represented here, don't be butthurt. Just take a look. These are some basic options that we, we like, carry, and uh, use ourselves. So, all right. So um, I'm gonna break this up into sort of speed versus retention to make this a little easier. Um, and uh, we'll start down here on the end. This is the double alpha holster. Um, we carry these on the website. It's just a very, very simple, very, very basic holster. Let me grab a couple of guns real quick. We've got uh, my old Titan, and um, this is one of the new uh, Artemis V2 pistols. So both five inch guns, this one's red dot capable, this one is not. Um, the, uh, the double alpha holster is an awesome choice for USPSA or very high speed, low retention uh, you know, uh, use cases. So. Um, it's a very good holster, it's a very smooth draw, it's super quick, but that gun is not staying in there if you you know are in any sort of a disruptive environment. So um, I like it for shooting USPSA matches, for if I'm gonna to go to the range and just hang out and we're just shooting um, you know light duty stuff, we're not moving too much. It's a very, very, very nice holster. It's very fast. Um, you do have a little extra retention you can dial up here with this thumb screw if you need it but for the most part i would recommend this for somebody who's you know the, the primary gun is the handgun and that's the first thing uh coming out <laughs> when you get started shooting so that is the double alpha holster great great holster um, the next one i want to bring up i've been using a ton this year this is the priority one holster this is the joe farewell signature series and what joe did was you can see there's just a little more coverage for the handgun um, you've, you've also got the, the tuning knob here. This is an optics capable gun. Um, one thing you might want to do is look at, there's some uh, sections here, you'll see mine's cut off. Um, it was rubbing against the Sig Romeo Max right there and causing me some fits, to say the least. So I, I did cut, you know, modify that a little bit. Um, but otherwise, this has been an awesome holster. So it's a, it's a very fast holster, but it also has some of that twist um, retention, right? So if you twist the gun, it kind of locks in place. And while the gun's moving around, it, it makes it much easier to keep in there. Now this one will hold the gun really well, especially if you dial up that thumb screw a little bit. But you know, if you, if you get going, it'll go for sure. So um, it's not a 100% holster, but for uh, you know, certainly um, any range thing, I would, I would this would be a great tactical holster. This is an awesome three gun holster, especially if you're shooting base style three gun. If I'm out on a, a big terrain match or something like that, or I must have full retention, this is not what I'm gonna do, but I host a Wednesday night match here in Minnesota in Bays, and, um, and that's all three gun, and this is my primary go-to holster for that. I have zero concern about this falling out as long as I'm upright and, um, you know, and I'm not laying in a car or crawling under something or climbing something. Okay, so that's a great option. And then the next option is from our friends at Weber Tactical. And this is a full retention hooded holster. This is their, uh, I don't know, it's not proprietary, but I think they're the ones that import this, this retention system. Um, and it isn't my favorite hood, but is my favorite hood if I've got to have a red dot. So um, the old system, I actually have one back here. This is the old uh, WRS hood system like this and it's spring loaded and you just push this and it flips down and it's awesome except that there's very little clearance for the red dot so even if you did cut all this out and drive the red dot all the way in you're going to get snagged up on that pretty easy coming out. So he went and, got, and sourced this new hood. I believe it's a European model and you can see there's tons of room there for the gun and you can get a good straight draw on the on the holster um, without hitting that hood. So it's a very nice setup. You come in, thumb goes down, it breaks out, and then you, you get the gun out. It's a very fast holster once the hood's out of the way, um, but that hood definitely does slow things down some. So um, these are three really good options for the overt carry. There is another one coming, and that is um, our friends at Dissident Arms are working with a 
uh, the holster manufacturer to come up with an option that'll be probably similar to this Priority One, except that it will accommodate a slide stop thumb rest. So for those of you who are shooting like a, a red dot based pistol with the slide stop thumb rest, or I suppose without the red dot as well, that's gonna work for you. Now I haven't seen it yet. I guess the, uh, the prototypes are coming out shortly, but we have high hopes it's gonna be a great holster for those that cannot live without the thumb rest slide stop. So um, I got a couple other things to bring up. Um, for those of you who are you know, more of a day-to-day -day carry, everyday carry guy, or you just like leather, uh, we've got Southern Trapper holsters available on our website. We've had very good luck with them. I've seen some other really cool ones on Instagram recently that are worth checking out as well, but that one's really awesome. And then we're also working with a, a, a cool company I don't want to say too much right now because we don't we don't have it quite done yet or really we haven't even started to be totally honest. With you. But the um, in, and that'll be a really good um, in the waistband you know appendix or uh, the four o'clock three four o'clock position holster for our guns like the Nix. So um, lots of cool stuff coming. This is a great set of holsters, most of which are available at um, AtlasGunWorks.com. The Priority One you can get direct from Priority One holsters and. Um, I hope that gives you a sense of what does work. Now, if you find something else out there, put it in the notes down below or a comment, like a holster that works great with one of our handguns. We'd love to know about it. We'll check it out as well. So hope you guys are doing great. Hope you're having an awesome season, and uh, we'll see you on the range soon.